All right, folks, what did I tell you? Uh, I told you we're going to be having a very special guest in the studio. His name is Olu Shegun. He's an Afro-contemporary artist. First time he was here, uh, we were talking about his song, Shebe, and this one is called My Baby. Hi, Shegun. How's it going? I'm good. How are you, Takari? Great. Good to have you in the good studio. Good to see you again. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so it's been a full circle, 360 <laughs> days. <laughs> Uh, but you're back again right. with a brand new single, right? right? Before we even delve into your music and everything all together, I want to take you through some of the trending stories that happened okay. over, yeah, over, over uh, what happened generally. So we'll start with Portable. Did you hear what happened with Portable? I mean, everybody saw it on the news. Yes, so. <laughs> yes, yes. So at last, last, my guy is saying, God pass them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Portable, for those who missed out on the story, uh, recently was um, arrested. Like so, there was a lady that came and said he uh, he purchased a Mercedes Benz. You know that one that crashed now. Uh, <laughs> were from him, from her, and he didn't pay all the money, so he had to balance fourteen million. So she came right. with the police. My guy jumped the fence, and then they filmed him being carried into the police van. Mm -hmm. But he's out with the brand new single, and then at the end of the day, he's saying, "God pass everybody." But generally, you're an artist, right? All right. What what do you think about? portable and his actions i mean first of all no publicity is bad every publicity is good whichever way it came so i i think that the idea of the song is a great one i mean there's traffic on his page they want to know what's happening and you know portable you know they grieve for anybody <laughs> so, they grew. and for the one that's saying god is bigger than everybody you trust people to turn back to religion when it comes to matters that um, is involving the legal thing, you know, everybody is trying to draw strength from God and this yes, yes, yes. aspect of it. So, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's only, that's his market strategy and it always works. Mm. We've seen it over time. Fair enough, but you think, right. I, I know you said more publicity is bad publicity, but someone jumping the fence, Portable is not a local artist anymore. He's right. an international artist. I mean, for crying out loud, he has a song with Skepta. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You know, he's performing in different countries. So... <laughs> But that was just a phase of his life. I mean, he has lived the larger part of his life as the person that you're seeing. Okay. So you cannot take that out of You him. can't take that out you of him. You understand? The way they say you, you can take people out of Nigeria, but you can't take Nigeria out of people. So. That, that, that is so true. Yeah. That, that is so true. Right. All right. Fair enough. We'll bring you more updates. Um, by the way, Portable has a song. It's called Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm not sure if we have the video, but we can, we can slip that in sometime, maybe as the show progresses. Uh, also, um, this one I shared earlier with our first guest, Andre. We're talking about lesson teachers, right? Mm -hmm. So the Lake State government... Uh, is to sanction teachers engaging in extra lessons after school. Now, I know for a fact that I was part of those people that went to extra lessons after school. Um, after your school is from maybe 6 a.m. to 12, mm -hmm. to 2, excuse yeah. me. And then you now do another lesson till 4. Right. You know, they say there's physics lesson. Ah, come on, it's a little much. So, um, there are two sides to it. I think that Lagos State Government is trying to balance the fact that people students should have equal access to the educational system such that um, there's nobody doing extra lesson or favoritism but at the same time it's extra pay for whoever it is that is engaging in it so whatever it is that they are doing i think they know best but they are also depriving some people of yeah okay fair enough um like you said extra pay i think that they they, they can do with the pay it's just that sometimes me personally i think Nobody wants to be in school till four. Right. It's a lot of learning, yeah. and you're not even probably going to learn anything, too. Mm -hmm. So that's just the way I feel, feel about this. But that said, let's go on a quick break. When we get back, we'll focus all on your music, your sound, and other things related. If you just joined us, Ulu Shegun is our very special guest on the show today. And this is Silverbird Today. My name is Kylie Baker. We'll be back after this. Welcome back. So, I mean, just uh, going back into uh, who our guest is on the show today, that's uh, Ulu Shegun. And, of course, he has a band called The Stallion. Right. Uh, the Stallion, though. <laughs> I yeah. mean, um, The Stallion is from, I mean, the animal, the yes. horse. And if you think about it, for me, it is knowing that the horse is very resilient. Mm -hmm. And my band should be known for that. And myself personally. Okay. You know, so it's just best to depict my band as the stallion. You know, 
in local terms, resilience maybe. Resilience. All right. So you're here uh, to talk about your brand new single called My Baby. Right. Uh, last time you were here, we were talking about your you know, initial single right. called Chevy. And um, now, like I said earlier, it's been 360 full circle <laughs> now that you're back. So for those that missed out on that conversation, take us through it again. So tell us about Uli Shegu and the Stallion Band. Okay, so my name is Uli Shegu and I'm an Afro contemporary artist. And um, I essentially blend traditional African rhythms with the recent melodies and such that people are able to people from now and people from the past and again essentially people from the future are able to resonate with it and enjoy it okay fantastic um i know that you play a number of instruments right which ones do you play which one is your preferred instrument okay so i'm a saxophone major i okay. play pianos and because of my background i have so much knowledge in percussions you know where i grew up i grew up around uncles that were drummers and my local did church. you go to the cac church no, i went the... to care room ah, so that's the one that's the percussion then, background yeah, there and then we had like the three-faced akuba drum you know yeah you had samba then i i grew into playing the talking drum drums and everything and then i took it for that i learned the piano and then i started playing the saxophone and did you go to school for all of this no i was just fortunate to attend a secondary school that took it seriously and then after secondary school I said, you know what, this is what me, I want to do for okay. the rest of my life. Just music. Right. And it's always good to know what your purpose is yeah. from the get-go. Yeah. So you're saying that the church, in a way, molded your molded your, your musical talents. Right. Okay. Uh, someone said to tell you, ah, you're new. He's a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But the trumpet is what you favor the saxophone. most. Saxophone. Saxophone. Okay. Yeah. But why the saxophone, though? Um, so for me... I'll tell you, it's so funny because when I was in high school, we had just one saxophone. And then there was this, my friend, it was my close friend that used to play. I'm like, ah, this guy is playing this thing. I really wanted to learn it. And, you know, so I, we just had one. Then along the line, the school got a lot more. And then my teacher took so much interest in me. Big shout out to him because he, I mean, he took time to teach me. And um, so after that, I started learning so that was the main reason why i learned the saxophone and along the line i found out that it was very easy for me to communicate with the saxophone and mm. communicate to people as well that are listening to me through the saxophone so, okay yeah okay so you play the talking drum you can like you can tell you can send a message by playing the talking yeah drum. there's actually a message in that song my oh. baby okay along the line uh, give us the message now what so is it it says obiri dudu obiri kupa okay along majen kuku obiri so you know that's a funny and that's a valid prayer <laughs> if you if you know what that means maybe you should translate it okay so whether a white <laughs> woman whether a black woman yeah may i not die the death of a woman yeah i mean it sounds like what uh Sh wally shoenka would say in is in a book <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but yeah okay i get it um but this is your first single for the year yes right, right. okay so is this single coming out from the body of work of an album, yeah. an EP. So we've been recording a bunch of things before, um, before now, okay. and this is just one to, to, to ease off the moment and to know that okay, something is coming. There's one more single that's coming out in a month from now. Then the body of work. So we're recording the album, and it's okay. So you're recording the album like yeah. that. So 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 let me get this straight now. You you play the sax, right? right. You perform with, I know that last time you were here, we had conversations about you performing along with the likes of Maide Kutsi yeah. and, you know, the rest of them. So have you been liking to the likes of Lagwacha before? Yes, it's, it's going to be like a great, I mean, it's a great desire for me to play on stage with someone as great as Lagwaja. His shoes are very, very big to, to mm -hmm. put your legs in. But I mean, with people like that, you're reminded of, the kind of person that you are, you're reminded of your heritage, you're reminded of your roots. So it helps you to, you know, know where you're going to, know where you're headed, and, and to build identity for yourself. So, I mean, it's so much of my desire to <laughs> have someone like Lagwaja on my music or on stage with, so, yeah. All right. There's a phrase that you're often known with. It's called, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong now, okay. Kutupa, Kutupa, yeah? Yes. Is it? Yes. So what does that mean? What okay, does that so, mean? Everything is still surrounded around the us. So if you if you're very attentive, when the us is moving, it goes. Well, that's true. Do you understand? So these shoes make that sound. Yes. And then when they say kutsupa, kutsupa, 
you say Eshing Bangba. So Eshing Bangba means big horse. Okay, so you're chanting back. Right. Oh, wow. That's it's just an audience <laughs> participation slang. I love it. Right. And the, the, um, partly, the, was this partly inspired by, but the, the name of the band, was that also partly what inspired the Kutukwa Kutukwa? Right. Everything was very, very um, divine, I would say. So, because when I was thinking about the name for the band, yes, I, I like the idea of the us. So, I wanted something related to that, but you know, I was still struggling with it. Then, fortunately, I needed a design for my room, and I'd asked my mom, please, can you get me something to um, design this place? That was the only thing I told her. Then, between me and you, she brought three designs that had horse in it. Three designs. I mean, that's like three fate designs. right there. That so is fate right there. Designs. And I'm like, okay, no, there's no way I've been thinking about this thing, and then she brings these three, like three designs. One had the face of the horse, one had the horse jumping, and then the other one too had another part of the horse. I'm like, no way. Okay. So that was how it came. It up. designed itself. And, uh, yeah, it just came. <laughs> okay, I mean, so generally, um, you are you know, a live artist. You like to perform right. on stage. Right. So now that your single is out here, are you going to be going on tour? Are you? I mean, I mean, what's the plan for? Yes, yeah, so um, we're going to have like a series of events just before we head out for the tours. But, I mean, that is in work. But the series of events will come in shortly, like, by June. You start to hear, like, the events that we're doing. And we're going to have, like, regular gigs now for people to watch. Because we're trying to build a community of people that listen to this kind of music and yes. resonate with it as well. Okay, so, I mean, you know, like, some of the greats now have their own base. Right. Uh, the Shrine, for example, yeah. you know. The yes. Kutis played there, and yeah. then everybody had now yeah. comes to perform the uh, Lagwaja back in the day at Motherland. Motherland. Yeah. In fact, I can go on and on. Yeah. A lot of people. So, do you have like a base? So, right now, I don't have a finished place yet. So, but it is in works because it's very important, like you said, it is important to grow a community with consistency. So, if you have a venue, it helps you to build your community. So they know that, oh, next This week. guy plays here. There's a guy called Ekong who was also on the show, right. uh, a trumpeter. I, don't, yeah. I think there's a network of trumpeters, saxophonists, all, you know. Yeah, it's, it's so amazing that we, we just know each other. Okay. Like we probably have come across each other's path or we went through the same kind of lessons. We went through the same tutors and everything. So, yeah, it's just like that. You okay, know. okay, okay. We are big, but at the same time, small to know each it's other. It's a smaller community, yeah. but okay, a larger face. Right. Fantastic. So 2024, we should look out for more singles. Right, more singles, and then, um, um, importantly, watch out for the body of work. The body of work. Yeah. So what, what's it going to be called? What's it going to be called? You want to give us Maybe a name? Maybe Ulu Eh? Maybe Ulu Okay, so <laughs> uh, would it be a debut? Um, it would be a debut album, right, yes? Right, right. Okay, so, I mean, Ulu Shagun is apt for it. Right. I'm just saying, if right. that's what you want to call it, right. it's apt for that. It has, a lot of, it has a lot of amazing features in it as well. And, yeah. Give us a name now. Are you featuring Brimo? Are you, <laughs> are you featuring Made? Let's know. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. So, okay, so Made is, at least you heard one of it here. <laughs> Made is going to be on the album. All right, fantastic stuff. Yeah. We're going to go on a quick break. When we get back, it will be time to bring you our word of the day and also um, some of the other things that we didn't highlight on the show, just to give you a quick recap and a round of everything happening on the show. So please stay with us. Welcome back. If you just joined us, the, this is the final stretch of the show. And the big question will be, where have you been? You've missed the entire thing. But you're just in time to catch, you know, the final, final thoughts. Yeah, final, final thoughts. Look at that. <laughs> of our very special guest, Olu Shegu. So um, just before I let you leave, right. uh, a word for people out there aspiring to, you know, do music like you. And also, where can we find your latest single? Okay, so my music is out on every platform at Olu Shegu. You know, every platform. My Instagram is olushagon underscore music across all platforms as well. Twitter, Facebook, and everything. And like you said, word for the day. Remember identity in anything that you're trying to do. Be consistent. Keep showing up. You might just be a day away from your breakthrough. I like it. I like that. Look at that. <laughs> so spontaneous. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Our word for the day here at uh, Silverbird is also going to be displayed on the screen right about now. And it says, if you want the rainbow, you have to put up with the rain, and this is from Dolly Parton. If you want the rainbow, uh, you have to put up with 
the rain. That's uh, Dolly Parton. So that's our show, ladies and gents. Don't forget, there's going to be a lot happening this weekend. There's the Nigerian Soup Festival. There's also going to be the amazing kids show happening at the Silverbird Gallery. So all you've got to do is register, bring your kids, and come and have a wonderful time. There's going to be bouncing castles, lots to eat and drink, and lots of networking opportunities as well. My name is Kaidi Baker. Let's keep in touch on social media. It's Kaidi Baker with a double R across all platforms. Now, don't forget, I like, I retweet, I follow back, and I have great conversations. Also, you can catch a rerun of the show on our YouTube page and also later tonight uh, on, uh, of course, all your various platforms, DSTV, GoTV, and Free to Air. Have fun, guys. See you next week.